What are floor boxes? Floor boxes are boxes made of stainless steel and plastic, designed for floor installation. They come in a variety of sizes and there are different boxes for different types of floors. This will depend on the depth of a false floor void or if it is to be set in the concrete floor screed. Raised floors, on the other hand, offers the most variety of finishing options, and at times can also include above floor raised floor boxes. What kind of buildings are they usable in? Many organizations can benefit from floor located power. Indeed, low boxes are widely used in 1. Offices 2. Airports 3. Hotels 4. Schools 5. Hospitals 6. Public buildings such as council offices Types of electric floor boxes Although there are many models on the market, usually the products are not very different in terms of appearance, functionality, features, general depth. Most are made of stainless steel or galvanized steel. However, some are also made of copper or brass. For example, wood floor finishes are often paired with brass sockets and floor boxes for architectural finishes. However, most of the latest boxes are designed and manufactured to provide easy installation and quick removal. Floor boxes are offered in both round and rectangular frames. While it is possible to use plastic or porcelain plates with floor coverings, the most common method is to use metal plates. Solid metal is less prone to damage when the box is stepped over when not in use. Metal covers can resist well for large weights. In addition, this will help maintain the basic look of the office is basic and clean. Where necessary, metal plates can be fitted with spring-loaded covers to seal when stores are not in use. The majority of floor boxes will have a separate cutout in the cover of the lid. This allows a sample of matching carpet to be placed to hide the floor box into the overall floor layout. In addition, this cutout can be used for a sample of matching tile, wood, or other floor coverings. Our management team can help you choose which type of electrical equipment suits your needs and provide a professional, secure installation. Waterproof floor boxes. For specialist areas, there is a range of heavy-duty floor boxes available. For example, floor boxes are available in waterproof and dustproof versions. In these products, the built-in inner box has IP66 water and dust protection box to ensure that the box is protected from outside elements. It is widely found in shopping malls, convention centers, museums, airports, on the streets, etc. These are areas that are regularly incurring dust, grime and are regularly washed down. Installing of floor boxes. Step 1. Choose the place of the box and make opening. To fit any floor box, you need to first open the floor. In false floors, these will be done by cutting the floor box into a floor tile. Care is taken to keep the floor box towards the center so as not to affect the strength of the tile by cutting too close to the edge. However, offsetting the box within the tile allows for greater adjustment when moving the tiles into place top suit desk layouts. If the floor box is to be placed into a concrete floor screed then the floor must be broken out. In addition, troughs will be required to run from the floor box to local services. This can either be back to the power board or data cabinet or accessing local containment such as dado trunking or tray work. Since cutting is a skilled craft that requires the right equipment, it is always best to hire a professional company. We can use the appropriate tools to cut out any requirements in your flooring. Floors with tile or wood, for example, can use a jigsaw. For concrete, we can choose a circular saw or a concrete saw. Once the opening is done, you can start installing the boxes. Step 2. Prepare the box and get it in place. First, check where the ground cable runs to. Once you know this, you can remove the appropriate knockouts from the floor box units. Knockouts are circular holes through which data entry and power systems connect to in box modules. Place the box on the floor above the opening, in the correct position to receive the electrical and data cabling connections. Step 3. Press the box into the floor. Lower the floor box and press down firmly on both ends of the box at the same time. This will include adjusting latches on each side and securing the box in place. The latches allow easy insertion and removal. For additional security once in place turn the screws to tighten each tight and the box should be secure in its place. Step 4. Fit the lid and trim. Many quick models have a metal, reusable lid that is already installed, so it can remain in place during installation or removal. If not, you should be able to measure the lid and reduce it by pressing the area. The lid can then fit it with a matching carpet, tile, or wooden insert. How to remove the floor box. This will depend on the floor model you have, but, in general, you should be able to follow these steps. 1. If the floor box has lock handles, lift them so that they no longer lock the box in place. 2. Many well-balanced boxes allow you to remove them without removing the lid. If so, simply lift the lid to an open area. 3. Look at the metal clips on either side of the box. 
insert a flat blade screwdriver into the size of one of these clips. Either side lightly in the left or right side, and slide it out until the clip meets the molded stem. 4. Lift the box down, using the lid as a handle. In concrete floor, screed floor boxes are set into the concrete themselves. Therefore, removal is generally not possible without extensive building upheaval. For further assistance or a free survey please email or call on the details below, and click like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video.